Hey guys, Antonio Zilla here. Today we are reviewing the two dinosaurs which were featured in the Jurassic World short film Battle at Big Rock. I really recommend you check that out. It's a really good short film. By the way, the reason the straps are cut, it's because I was just too anxious to wait for this video to take these out of the box. I just couldn't help it. Because both of the boxes are the same, let's just take a look at the Nasutoceratops first. It looks about the same as anything else. It's got the Jurassic World logo on the top left, and then it's got the T-Rex squaring off the Triceratops with the Dino Rivals logo right in the middle. I like how it's a blue background instead of just the regular orange and it doesn't have Chris Pratt photobombing it. It comes with various dual attack actions, such as a tail strike and a head strike. Gives you an image of it slapping a concavenator. I'll give you a link in the description for that review. Anyways, over here you've got the card and other things you can buy. So here is the Nasutoceratops in all of his glory. And yeah, I said he. Spoiler alert, in the movie it's confirmed that he's a he. So yeah, that's cool. Anyways, let's take a look at the card. So you've got some art of the Nasutoceratops with the stats. So st uh, strength is 8, speed is 4, uh, intelligence is 3, and attack is 7. Before I get into the sculpt, I just want to quickly say that this is probably one of my favorite um, paint jobs on any of the Jurassic World figures besides the concavenator. I really like the the colors that they chose for the Nasutoceratops. It's a very unique palette of navy blue, a swampy green, a tan, and then these bloody accents around the, the frill and the back, which is really cool. I I really like this paint scheme. The red around the eye looks kind of strange. It looks like someone took ketchup and mayonnaise and then just splatted it all over the face. I like the darker colors better, the kind of blood tone red. That looks better in my opinion, yeah. Yeah. The sculpt resembles the Nasutoceratops in Battle at Big Rock perfectly, except the paint, while cool, isn't accurate at all. Running down the figure, you've got a scaly, sort of pebbly texture which is typical of any Jurassic World Mattel figure. And I like how it goes all the way down to the tail. One thing that's really cool is um, they actually sculpted behind the frill. They didn't even have to do that. They paid extra work into this figure, which I love. There's also plenty of folds and creases. I like how the frill is flexible for kid purposes. Same thing with the horns. The sculpt on the head is clearly Ceratopsian. I like the sort of brain case bump on the top of the head. I know nothing about anatomy. I know all the dinosaur species. It's just, I don't know, whatever that bumpy thing is on top of the head that looks like a Pachyrhinosaurus. The articulation is simple but effective. So you've got the thing right here where it pivots out, which is always good. And it can spin 360. I'm not going to do that, though. There's not really much use you can make with the legs besides if you want to make it run like this or something, but it always looks good in a neutral position like that. There's something I'm just noticing. The head has some extra articulation where you can make it look side to side. I actually didn't know this figure had that, which is a nice addition. So you could actually get some pretty nice and natural looking positions with the head. So yeah, I didn't know you could do that. Cool. Um, I like how the, the sculpt on the neck continues where the head would have otherwise hidden it. That's a nice addition. There's a lot of nice additions on this figure. And then the tail just kind of loosely waggles. Well, waggles. That's not even a word! It wags like a happy guy, I guess. And it's loose because it comes into play with the action feature, which I will show you right now. See, if you press this button, the head will ram, which is very Ceratopsian looking. And this button activates the tail strike, quote unquote. It's not really a strike. It's still more of a wag. If you, if you do them together, you could do the dual attack. That's why it's called dual attack, duh. And if you move the head, and you can make it strike in a different direction, which is useful, I guess, for pictures. I don't know, but here's the QR code for the app. That was the overview of the Nasutoceratops. Now let's move on to the Allosaurus. Between the two, the Allosaurus probably has the best sculpt, in my opinion. I really like the extra touches with the crests on the head, and the horns, they're nice and growed, uh, what do you call it, grown. Um, this is definitely an adult Allosaurus, you can tell. It's because it's not nearly as dorky looking as the juvenile Allosaurus from the previous line. The horns, among many other things, make it look like a much more mature version of the same animal. 
The one thing that sucks about both of these Allosauruses is they're almost impossible to stand. Um, there's a trick that I figured out how to make them both stand. I'll show you right now. So you want the um, right leg to poke in as far as you can make it go and then have the left leg poke out a little bit and then that'll keep it stable. Here is the collector card that comes with the Allosaurus. The art on this one kind of looks a little bit more cartoony than usual and I think y'all get the memo of the stats at this point. The articulation is really simple in the Allosaurus so the, um, the jaw moves up and down on a hinge joint which is always good and then the arms pivot out which is good for posability and then they uh, can hinge forward a little, just a little. Um, and then the legs have that same outward pivot, the same applies to the other leg, and then the tail can spin 360 degrees. I don't really like the tail spin, it's loose and it always ends up crooked. As usual, for the dual attack feature, there's two buttons, and when you press the front one, that'll activate the jaw snap, and then the, the back one will activate a claw strike. Overall, good articulation. I utilize this a lot in the opening scene of this video. One last thing, here is the code for the Jurassic World app. For a quick idea of size, here it is next to one of the Jurassic World T-Rexes. That's it for the review of the Jurassic World Dino Rivals Battle at Big Rock Allosaurus and Nosutoceratops. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more Jurassic reviews. You killed it.